Hi guys, uh, first I just wanted to apologise, this hasn't been as regular as it should be. Um, I've been a bit sick, but uh, there's also been a lot going on in the back end. Um, it's sort of taken my time away from focusing on the markets and producing things. So I do apologise, um, I'll try and get back to doing them on a more regular basis. Uh, what I just wanted to um, look at uh, is overnight, you know, we discussed, and I think I wrote about it um, earlier, is that the US dollar um, should dominate, but uh, would have a little bit of a retraction. Um, and so this downtrend on the um, dollar yen uh, should be over. It would get overextended around the um, EMA, have a little retraction, which is what it's been doing. And are looking for it to accelerate um, and make a new high from there. Um, and similarly, but in upside down as uh, against the Aussie and the Euro, is that the US dollar would dominate, would get over overextended, uh, which would happen around the EMA, um, then have a little bit of a, um, a bounce before uh, carrying on and making a new low. And same, we're kind of seeing it here, it's just um, pausing to um, think about it. Now, my reasoning behind that is twofold. One is that stocks are overextended and uh, looking for them to retrace. Um, and so the US dollar should benefit from that uh, being the safe haven flow. Uh, and the second one is interest rates. Um, everybody's been expecting that interest rates were going to pause from the US. Um, but you know, I, I think that's, uh, that scenario is incorrect. Even at the um, uh, recently, uh, Jerome Powell has said that you know the interest rates are, may even be going higher than what they uh, originally planned. And overnight, um, there was more talk um, from the Fed heads about um, interest rates higher for longer. Right, so uh, no rate cuts this year. Uh, more work to do, higher for longer. And that's from three other Fed heads, uh, sort of backing up Jerome Powell's. Um, talk uh, earlier this week um, so uh, yeah uh, last week let me just bring up last week's um, news calendar um, we had Jerome Powell talk just you know a couple of days ago and and say that and then um, followed up by a couple of other uh, members as well so to me I think the market's got it wrong in that there's a, um, the Fed are going to pivot um, and if we look back down at the um, interest rate trajectory, market is expecting rate cuts um, towards the end of this year starting to happen, right? whereas um, the Fed do not expect that. Um, the Fed's been wrong before, granted, but I think um, this time that I think the market's got it wrong. This will be the big one, right? So this is uh, tomorrow, uh, sorry, next week's um, inflation numbers on Tuesday night. Nice Valentine's Day gift for the Americans um, will be the inflation numbers. And yes, inflation has been ticking off um, on a month by month basis. Um, uh, the core year to year is currently 6.5. Yes, it has been coming off. But remember, their band is down here. This is where they want inflation to sit. And it took 18 months to get up there, right? Um, it's been uh, four or five months, uh, maybe six to get back um, back down to here. Um, it's not going to get back down here real quick. So don't expect a rate cut until it gets back down there, right? In previous scenarios, back in the 80s, um, when they saw inflation come off, uh, they took interest rates um, and started to drop interest rates and inflation dipped, but then took off again and then so they had to uh, chase with uh, raising interest rates. They don't want a repeat of that scenario. They've said that. So they're not going to do a rate cut until inflation is, I would suggest, under 3%, uh, if not maybe 3.5%. Uh, and, and that's a long way to go. So I think the market's got it wrong and therefore interest rates are going to be going higher. Um, and we go and have a look at the uh, bonds. Um, US 10 year bonds um, had this double bottom here um, and are tracking higher. A bit of a sell off overnight, but um, you know, we're expecting that to sort of um, go that direction, which would um, put pressure on stocks to go, you know, it looks like it's a bit of an uptrend, but to be going that direction 
overpriced. Even VIX is starting to move in that in that direction. Um, so there's uh, starting to um, people starting to buy some protection against that move. Looking at dollar index itself, um, it's come back to the moving average. Um, is at that kind of resistance level, um, bit of a double resistance when it uh, got overheated and it's overheated on the uh, daily, on the hourly, and on the four hour. The key will be to get through that resistance level. Um, and I expect the market to sort of um, maybe have a bit of a sell off uh, before gaining the momentum to crack through that and then lean on that as support. So you're looking for the US dollar to crack above it, um, come back and then when it bounces off that, that's the time to be getting along the US dollars, yeah? Not, you don't get long at resistance, um, you get long from resistance, yeah? Um, so you're not trying to buy it at this level, you buy it when it comes back to it, and it's a support level. Um, if you think the market's going south, you think I'm wrong, and um, you think US dollar is going to weaken from here, then this is where you sell it from, right? Um, from this level. You don't buy it at this level, you sell it at this level. Um, and, but that's if you think the fundamental picture is that the US dollar should weaken. Personally, I don't see that picture. I'm looking for the picture to be back into an uptrend for reasons stated. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, we'll try and get one in for tomorrow. And as I said, um, you know, when I get rid of this um, head cold flu, uh, man flu, no, it's not COVID, I tested for that. Um, we, I'll try and get more regular on this also once we get our back-end operations sort of uh, more streamlined too. Thanks guys, see you next time.